welcome to you all who are watching me. I am Dr. Chandana Sharkar, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Anatomy, Sheri Bangla Medical College, Borishal, Bangladesh. Today, I am going to discuss about the artery supply of the spinal cord. So let's begin. What is spinal cord? It is the lower cylindrical part of the central nervous system. We know central nervous system is composed of brain and spinal cord. The spinal cord lies within the vertebral canal. Now, what are the arteries which supply the spinal cord? The spinal cord is supplied by anterior spinal artery, posterior spinal artery and segmental spinal arteries. Now, anterior spinal artery, how it is formed? It is formed by the union of the two arteries, each of which arises from the vertebral artery inside the skull. The two arteries unite to form anterior spinal artery which descends downwards on the anterior surface of the spinal cord within the anteromedial fissure and divides into a number of small branches. These small branches enter into the substance of the spinal cord and supplies the anterior to third of the spinal cord. Now, posterior spinal arteries, they are two in number. Each of artery arises from the vertebral arteries within the skull or they may arise indirectly from the posterior inferior cerebellar arteries. The two arteries, posterior spinal artery, descends downwards on the posterior surface of the spinal cord close to the dorsal root of the spinal cord and divides into a number of small branches. These small branches enter into the substance of the spinal cord and supply the posterior one third of the spinal cord. This is the posterior spinal artery and this is the anterior spinal artery. Posterior spinal arteries are two in number. So anterior spinal artery supplies the anterior to third of the spinal cord and posterior spinal artery supplies the posterior one third of the spinal cord. And these two arteries are reinforced by the small segmental arteries. Now the small segmental arteries which arises from outside the vertebral canal such as deep cervical, intercostal and lumbar arteries. After entering into the vertebral canal, each segmental artery divides into anterior and posterior radicular arteries and they accompany the ventral and dorsal root of the spinal cord. They reinforce the anterior and posterior spinal arteries. Besides this, there are some feeder arteries which enter into the vertebral canal and anastomose with the branches of the anterior and posterior spinal arteries and supply the spinal cord. Among them, one important feeder artery is the great anterior artery of Adamkis, which arises from the aorta in the lower thoracic or upper lumbar region and it supplies the lower to third of the spinal cord. This is all about the artery supply of the spinal cord. And in I am repeating, spinal cord, it lies within the vertebral canal and it is supplied by anterior spinal artery, posterior spinal arteries and the segmental spinal arteries. Anterior spinal artery is formed by the union of the two arteries which arises from the vertebral artery and supplies the anterior to third of the spinal cord. Posterior spinal arteries are two in number. 
they may arise directly from the vertebral artery inside the skull or they may arise indirectly from the posterior inferior cerebellar arteries and supply the posterior one third of the spinal cord. These two arteries, anterior and posterior spinal arteries are reinforced by the radicular arteries which are the branches of the segmental arteries. In addition to this, an important feeder artery that is the great anterior artery of Adunkis arises from the aorta in the lower thoracic or upper lumbar region and supplies blood to the lower to third of the spinal cord. So this is all about the artery supply of the spinal cord. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Don't forget to like, share and put your valuable comments on the video. See you. Thank you all.